Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again. Welcome back to my channel. And、uh, here, I want to share with you some little secret that Bethesda never told you about Auto X and about all the auto melee weapons. The first one I want to share with you is use the electrified mode because it's the best one for Auto X. It's simply because this mode gives you electrical damage, which is ten points, and scaled up with your strength. And with all the other damage boost perks, and this electric damage has never been used inside the game except the charged electric mutation. Only these two places, Bethesda has implemented electric damage, and on the other hand, nothing inside the game have any resistance to electric damage. It's a pure damage at this moment, and that's why. The electrified mode is the best one for your auto axe. Let me quickly show you here with this help from these scavengers. Let me use the original one, which has not modded. It's the plain version, not legendary as well. It only do four point damage to the scavenger because they have significantly strong resistance to all type of damage. But if we try the electrified auto axe, it deals seventeen points damage per hit. Which is a significantly higher number than four, and this is because, as I mentioned earlier, nothing in this game have resistance to electric damage. You do pure damage to them without any resistance. That's why you see extremely high increase in terms of DPS when you put this electric fight mode on the auto axe. And the second point I want to mention here is. When you use auto melee weapon, it's not only applied for auto axe, but all the auto melee weapon as well as shredder. Make sure you use it in first person view because in third person view it attacks much much slower, as you can see here, comparing with the first person view. And it's because the first person view actually gives you the maximum attacking speed. You don't need to apply any attacking speed bonus to it. It already reached the maximized cap. The fast fire rate legendary perk, as well as the martial arts perk, will only work if you use it in the third person view. And the third point I want to mention here, which is also very very important, Bethesda has made all the auto melee weapon doing power attack when you pull your trigger down. So there's no normal attack anymore. All the normal swing. Are power attacks, and that makes the plus forty percent power attack legendary perk the best one for all the auto melee weapons. So if you want to roll a legendary version of your auto axe or drill or whatever auto melee weapon you want to use, make sure you have the secondary legendary perk as the plus forty percent power damage. I don't know why Bethesda make the normal attack a power attack. I mean, it doesn't give you extra power attack bonus, but it's classified or categorized as power attack. It's probably because that's the only way they can make the fast fire rate legendary perk work with auto melee weapon. This also applies to the Shriders, but unfortunately, minigun does not roll with. The plus forty percent power attack legendary effect at all, so you can only get it with all the other auto melee weapons. All right, that's everything I want to share with you. Let me quickly do a wrap up. One, use electrified mode because nothing in the game have the resistance to it. It gives you the best damage output in terms of molding. Two, use all the auto melee weapon in first person view. To reach the maximum attacking speed, it's not intentional. Bethesda might actually fix it in their next patch. Three, all the auto melee weapon doing power attack when you pull the trigger down. So make sure you have the plus forty percent power attack legendary perk as your secondary when you do the legendary rolls. All right, that's everything I want to share with you today. I hope you find it useful. Please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share the video with your friends. But until next time, feel the gains out.